Powerplay Chess, brought to you in association with Kagi. White to play and win. Today, the 31st of October, is Alexander Alikin's birthday. And he was white in this game, and it's one of his most spectacular finishes. So this was played in 1924, and it's a really special occasion, actually, because this was one of the games in a blindfold simultaneous exhibition that he gave in New York. And he played, let me see, 26 opponents. He won 16, lost 5, and drew 5. By all accounts, quite decent opposition. And at that time, this was the world record for the number of opponents played simultaneously. So yeah, it's pretty special. So how did Alikin, playing white, win this one? You can see that his pieces are lined up beautifully. That knight on f5, so dangerous when there's a king on g8, combines with the bishop. Well, all the pieces combined be combine beautifully here. So how does white finish off here? Well, bishop takes knight is the starting move. And let me see if... Well, let, let's deal with pawn takes first. Then queen h6. So this is this is the easy one. So queen g7, mate threatened. If queen f8, okay, not too difficult a tactic. Rook e8. And after that's taken, then queen g7, mate. Queen takes is a little bit trickier. And this is really beautiful. So black has a back rank problem. So rook check. Black blocks. A knight check. If the king goes in the corner, then rook takes knight. Uh, black can't take with the pawn because it's check. So therefore, queen takes. And now it's force mate like this. Absolutely stunning finish. If you want to play through the whole game, then do check out the link to chesspuzzle.net and you can see... Alikin's style there in, the, in this whole game very, very well because he just sweeps forward, uh, claims the initiative at a very early stage in the game. Actually, it's a really instructive game. Not perfect, but a very good illustration of Alikin's style. I hope you enjoyed that.